Hi everyone, uh, today we have a review of the Master and Axon uh, box set from Character Options and Underground Toys based off the 1971 third Doctor story, The Claws of Axos. Um, now this actually comes in a, in a pretty small box, it's maybe about 7 inches high, 8 inches high, uh, pretty thin. Um, considering the size of the Axon, he reaches almost to the top of the packaging. So uh, I was really glad it was compact because the first Doctor and TARDIS came in a pretty big box. Um, so did the 12 Doctor set, not necessarily, obviously. Um, same type of packaging that we saw for the first Doctor and TARDIS. Um, picture of Roger Delgado. Over here, picture of the Axon. Um, this little box is what story it's from. We have the year over here, and that it comes from the Third Doctor era on the bottom. Uh, not too much on the side. On the back, we have a little blurb about the episode. Um, another picture of Roger Delgado and the Axon. And up here we have just the eight, the eight Doctors and their years um, for the classic set. Um, so that's about it on the packaging. Oh, um, there is a little backdrop inside. Uh, directly behind the two figures is the Axon ship. And over here on the side, you can just make it out, is a print of um, an Axon. I think, no, there isn't one over there. All right, so let's open the set up, and we'll take a look at the two figures individually. Okay, so here we have the two figures out of their packaging, and I'm going to start by talking about the Axon. Uh, now, this is actually a pretty substantial figure. It's pretty heavy, um, pretty much all in the middle. Um, he originally started life as what was supposed to be a crinoid... Um, build a figure for I think the second set of classic figures so like the um, the decayed master and um, the Earthshock Cyberman and other characters like that um, it, that never came to be um, so they just repainted him pink and red and beige and made it an axon now what's interesting about that is that the crinoids in the episode Seeds of Doom were a reuse of the Axon prop, just repainted green. So there's weird sort of symmetry going on there. Um, it's a pretty cool monster. Uh, the Claws of Axos is not one of my favorite episodes. Um, it's also been a long time since I've seen it, so I can't really remember how accurate this is. Um, we do have the backdrop here. Um, and compared to that, it's pretty accurate. Um, the only issue is that it has a human face, um, which is because it was supposed to be the crinoid. Now, easy solution is flipped around. It's fine. But, you know, um, other than that, pretty cool. Uh, it's not something I generally want. Um, so this might be going up on the trade board that I used to, uh, to give this to someone who's really looking to army build the axons. Um, but still, if, you, if you're getting this set it's a, and you don't have any other monsters, it's pretty cool to have around. Um, and if you're a customizer, you can easily make this into a crinoid, crinoid with a couple different green paints. Um, so that's really all there is about the figure. Um, his head, because he was the build the figure does just snap on and off. Um, not that that's of really any use. So this is the Roger Delgado Master action figure. And I have to say, from the original um, prototype pictures that Character Options put out, this looked like it was going to be an amazing likeness of Roger Delgado. The pictures that we then saw of some of the action figures, he looked a little too light, a little too dark, the grays in the beard weren't right, his hair was too dark, too light, whatever. It seemed different in every picture. Uh, the figure that we ended up with is fantastic. The likeness of Roger Delgado is amazing. They nailed this one 100%. And, you know, I was one of the people, there were a lot of people raving about the likeness of Anthony Ainley, and this just blows that out of the water in accuracy. Uh, both are amazing figures, this just takes the cake. 
Um, everything from uh, his amazingly intense stare, um, you'd almost think he's beckoning me, you to obey him right now. Um, his left eyebrow has a slight quirk to it, uh, which Delgado always used to do. Um, the beard has the two little gray sections, he's got the little soul patch, it's perfectly rounded. Um, his, widow, his widow's peak looks great, um, and they, they got his hair down really well. There's even a little bit of a gray wash to it to make it look a little more authentic. Um, now the figure itself, um, it's a brand new sculpt for the body as far as I can tell. He, um, he has the Nehru jacket that he pretty much wore in all the episodes, a couple exceptions. Um, he's got a couple pockets sculpted onto the, the plastic jacket. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that um, to slot it over the figure, they had to put these little slits in the side. And it just makes the jacket look a little fat in the front. Uh, generally just on this side, even though they're the same cut on both sides. Now he does have little braids sculpted onto the jacket, um, which are hard to pick up on the old episodes, but in the production stills are there. He has the black gloves that Delgado always wore. Um, and as far as I can tell, the legs and shoes are new too. Um, it looks kind of like he has um, boots on, actually. Now, a, a lot of people had been guessing that they were going to reuse the body of the Deadly Assassin Master on, underneath his beaten-up cloak. Um, because I guess some people had, had opened it up and seen that he has a narrow jacket on under here. It's really hard to see, uh, so I'm not going to bother. Um, it's a completely new sculpt, completely new jacket everything. Um, so that made me happy. Um, the joints on my Delgado are still a little stiff, as you can kind of hear, so I don't want to push him too much. Uh, he does have the tissue compression eliminator, the TCE. Uh, it's the original one, which is a black bar with a silver handle. Um, you know, it's there's not much to it. Uh, his hand is molded to hold it. His hand is in a little bit of a weird uh, stance for it. I'm not really too keen on that because he... Actually, I think that might work better. Uh, this other arm is sculpted at a little bit of an angle, so you can't have it straight down. Um, his other hand is just always going to be out there, which, I mean, it's not, it's not a huge problem. It's just a little weird. However, all told, amazing figure amazing likeness and I'm really glad to have him. Uh, now I just thought it would be interesting to put him together with the other th uh, other two classic masters that they've released just to show sort of the progression of the three. Um, all three of them are actually great likenesses to the character. Um, I do wish they're, they're giving us a second TCE with the Stilgata to give to Ainley, but what are you going to do? Um, now really all we need for the Classic Masters is a uh, Eric Roberts Master from the TV movie. And with the TV movie finally being released in North America on DVD, hopefully sometime in this year, we should probably see that soon. Um, and then I do also have... What the hell... Uh, Professor Yana Master and the John Sim Master. So now we have all the Masters and they all look great. But I think in terms of figures, Delgado is the best. Just an amazing face, um, amazing coloration, and he, he just he looks like the Master. Um, this gives me a little bit of hope that if they release an Anthony Ainley in his real costume, it'll be just as good as this. Um, because I love the Anthony Ainley I have now, but it just, the classic costume really sells this figure. Alright, so this has been the Claws of Axos Master and Axon set. Um, all around a good set. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of the Axon. Um, really I bought this set just to have the Roger Delgado Master, and I think it was a pretty good idea. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. 
Uh, be sure to subscribe to me, uh, like this video, and leave some comments. Thanks, and have a good day.